Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Brian, with uh, Next Level Mobile Mechanic Service. It's going to take a while for me to say that because technically my business is still Houston's best mobile mechanic service. Uh, I'm going to do a little experiment right here. I don't know about you guys, but I get really tired of people quoting something and then changing the price. That's one thing I don't do. In fact, I don't know how many mechanics or how many servicemen uh, give a customer, you know, qu quote a price and end up telling them, hey, I figured out a really quick way to do it. I just don't think it's worth, you know, $500 or whatever because you're going by the book. So we got a guy uh, that's coming over here to install a window and all their they all advertise on Facebook Marketplace that it's like $89 or $99 but of course any window that you contact them about is not going to be that and I understand they need to make money but uh, well this one guy like I mean all of them that I talked to like I mean some of them were just outrageous and they pay like $25 to $45 for new windshields you know depending on what it is especially the back glass uh, and you know I just I just think you have a lack of integrity if you tell somebody something you don't do it uh, I'm guilty of that it takes me longer to do stuff but I, I still try to communicate with my customers and it's not something simple like a job the things that take me longer are like when I'm figuring out wiring or something a couple other mechanics have looked at and couldn't figure it out and they can never replicate the symptoms that the customers having so in those cases I tell the customer you know I'll try to drive the car for a couple days or I'll just leave it running in the driveway you know until I can figure out what's going on with it because sometimes when the car is running perfect there's no check engine light no history because they took it to AutoZone and cleared it or whatever you know so so everybody's got the reasons but you know so I was okay with this price at 120 somebody else told me 85 and they said that should be a pretty fair price you know because it doesn't take us very long to do it and my cost in the job is going to be like 30 bucks or whatever but I lost that guy's card uh, so then I got on Facebook marketplace trying to get somebody to uh, I hope I'm recording yeah uh, to find this window for this Honda because somebody's interested in it and they the guy told me he'd be here today by 11 a.m. No call, no show. I really didn't even think about it. I thought about it this morning, but I've been too busy trying to clean up this mess of a shop. Uh, that's why the track, that's why I'm sitting on the tractor because I'm fixing to take all this stuff to the burn pile. Uh, and then I'm be working on cars all night. Uh, I made a promise to myself that I wouldn't stop today, and so I completed three cars. Uh, so it's going to be a long night, maybe all the way until tomorrow. But now that I've gone ahead and started the YouTube thing, I'm really just, you know, I'm, I'm ripping and running and I'm going to get that ambulance up and going but I need to get these customers cars out of here and I'm going to spend this weekend probably most of next week organizing this chaotic mess you know most people probably won't show you the dirty but I will I'm a straight up guy uh, anyway so I had this guy come over here and I'm going to give him a chance to to be right because I'm going to let him know that he's on YouTube right away I'm going to ask him the name of his business and and if he still, because he basically told me to have a good day, because I was like, well, are you going to discount it a little bit or something since you're, since you're a no-call, no-show? I had to contact you for you to tell me that you were stuck in traffic since 11 a.m. Uh, you know, I'm just a, I don't care if I got my ass whooped behind it or, you know, really, I just feel like people with a lack of integrity should be taught a lesson. And that's what I'm going to do. You know, he either have a chance to to make a little bit of money, you know, it's 8 o'clock at night, or he's going to drive home empty-handed and feel the same way that I do. You know, like when I ask you, like, hey, are you going to discount a little bit, or are you going to do something different, or, you know, whatever. And I'm the type of person, I over-tip when, when, for people that require a tip. You know, I try to be as fair as possible, but I don't take any shit, and... I don't like people that just don't have integrity and I'm one of those people that kind of wants to teach him a lesson. So this guy's going to drive all the way over here, be recorded, I'm going to ask him the name of his business and then he's going to be put on blast. And you know, I guess we'll see where it goes from there but for now I'm going to pause this video.